YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Um, and I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all very, 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 very much. Um, and somebody else who's going to appreciate y'all very, very, very much uh, and you all's passion uh, and love for the game of football and everything that comes along with it is David Ajabo. David Ajabo is the Ravens' uh, second round pick, and he was a sort of a surprise in the second round. I remember when the announcement was made, oh, Ravens are drafting David Ajabo. I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's interesting because we know he was supposed to be a first round pick, but the injury. Ooh, and, and Ravens, we, 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 we hate that word, especially last year. Um, injury. The injury is what messed him up, is what messed his draft status up and, and dropped him. Didn't drop him too much, but it did drop him significantly because, again, like I said, when he was drafted, he did lose a significant amount of money. Still going to get a significant amount of money, but he did lose a significant amount of money. So now for him, it's all about the bounce back game. It's all about what can you do when you do play and you just got to you're playing for that second contract now. Obviously, the first one is still a lot now, especially compared to college. Because you know them college players, they're getting paid. Even before all this whole, they could get paid for endorsements and all that. Them college players are getting paid. But now, your, your first contract in the NFL, a rookie contract, is going to be a lot more than what you were getting paid. But then that second contract, when you get to that second, and as a pass rusher, and it's a passing league now, it ain't like it's going to go back to a running league. It's a passing league now. So in three, four years, when you are for a contract, yeah, you can make a significant amount of money, that much more. But anyway, um, the way that I looked at David Ajabo, his status with the Ravens this year, um, I put him on the same list that I put Ronnie Stanley on, same list that I put Derek Wolf on, the same list that I put Jawan James on. And that is anything that you get from them should be considered a bonus especially with Ronnie Stanley and Derek Wolf. And I know we are all so hopeful that Ronnie Stanley not only comes back and plays, but he comes back and stays. He remains on the field. We want Ronnie Stanley to be he who remains on the field because he just makes such a big difference on this team on the offense. Ronnie Stanley goes out. Everything changes. But we want it to be where David Ajabo, where when he's in, everything changes in a positive way. Now, I do not want him to be rushed, but he's feeling like, and he said it himself, he, I didn't anticipate him playing this year. I didn't expect him to play this year. I feel like this is sort of a red shirt year or whatnot. He just said it out, okay, we'll see you next year. But he said he not only anticipates on playing this year, but he anticipates playing Early, early and often. Let, let's see exactly what he said, um, because that's something. And I mean, let, let's just read from the article. Um, it says, uh, as always, he is looking ahead to his next lofty dream. Uh, this time, a healthy return to the field for his NFL, 20, his NFL debut in 2022. He says so far he has no pain, good flexibility, and he is already biking. Okay, that's that's a good thing. And it's uh it's May. Today is May 5th. So season starts in September. Whew, uh, we'll see. Um, but he said that uh oh see Cam Akers. Cam Akers is a new standard now. The Rams, the Rams just continue to set so many standards. Because with the Rams, of course, whenever you talk about going all in, people either they look at it like, oh, oh, you wanna do like Rams? Or you want to use every single draft pick. And it, a lot of people don't they don't look for like a happy medium. Uh, but with Cam, with Cam Akers, uh, who was a Ram, uh, every Achilles that you hear about now, oh, hey, Cam Akers, he came back so fast. And he did. And he came back, won a Super Bowl too. But anyway, um, he said that Cam Akers busted it and played in five and a half months. He said, that lands me at around August, September, maybe even October. Mm. Season's still going. So, yeah, I anticipate playing. Mm. That's something right there. Uh, and, I mean, it is just his words right now. But if somebody, like, you cannot take away somebody's motivation. 
You can't take away somebody's heart. You can't take away somebody's will. If somebody wants something to get happen, now, of course, doctors got to clear it now. Doctors got to clear it and doctors got to give them the okay, all right, you're good to go. Um, but on his part, I'm sure he will be doing everything that he possibly can to get on the field this year. Now, something that really goes in his favor, plays in his favor, him being a rookie, he's making a transition from college to the pros. And that can be a big transition. That can be such a uh, demanding transition uh, because it's a lot. Like college is hard enough. NCAA is hard enough. Real quick side comment. Somebody, uh, I, I saw somebody in the comment section. They were like, why do people call it NCAA? It, it, it's quicker just to say NCAA. And that's true. But anyway, NCAA sounds better. So NCAA, going from that to the NFL, that's huge. That's a big jump. And for a lot of people, it works. For a lot of people, it doesn't. This 1%, that 1% is something serious to the people who make it. Now, something that goes in his favor, defensive coordinator. Mike McDonald is going from Michigan to the Ravens. David Ajabo is going from Michigan to the Ravens. A linebacker that we still got to watch. Y'all told me his name, but I forgot it. He's also going from Michigan to the Ravens, so we'll see if that helps him. But anyway, for David Ajabo, the fact that his defensive coordinator in college is his defensive coordinator in the pros, he already will have a – it'll be a much easier process for him to understand the playbook. I'm sure some stuff is going to be changed here and there, but he will have a general grasp of knowledge on the Ravens defensive playbook so that can take him a long way in a short amount of time and when he does get healthy it'll make his transition to on the field that much smoother so that that's a beautiful thing and then you know he's going to be in the meetings you know he's going to be doing all the film study and whatnot but when it's time when it's his time that will help him be ready and he will be able to stay ready so he doesn't have to get ready so shout out to uh to david ajabo i'm um i'm very interested and, and excited to see when he does come back whenever that is whenever that is there's a lot of different scenarios that the ravens could do for david ajabo um they could one worst case scenario would be injury reserve that he gets put on injury reserve before the season starts he wouldn't play a down this year um, that's the one that we don't want to happen but if he's just simply not ready and you don't think he's going to be ready I, 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 don't, I don't even think they would do that. I think they would may take another route. Um, but with another route, it would be riskier to lose a player that you may want to keep. And we'll explain that. What I mean when I say that is that they can put him on injury reserve before the season starts. He'll miss the whole season. But if they don't put him on injury reserve before the season starts, they could do a couple things. They could put him on the physically unable to perform list. So that would mean that he would have to miss the first six weeks of the season. First six weeks of the season, he misses that. Uh, and then week seven. After, at that point, you have to activate either activate him to the active roster, um, or you have to put him on injury reserve. You have to; it has to be either one, active roster or injury reserve, and he misses the remainder of the season if he gets put on the pup. So that's another option. But another option that's where it gets a little tricky. And Ravens they they do this every year with some people. Um, another option would be to carry him on the initial fifty three man roster when all teams got to get down to fifty three from ninety. Um, they can carry him on a 53-man roster, and then after the 53-man roster is set, then they can place him on injury reserve. He would have to miss a minimum of three games, but then after that, he can come back whenever. But if you carry him on the initial 53-man roster, he will take up one initial 53-man spot, uh, and that could be somebody that you may want to keep, but they would have to get cut, and you would have to hope that they clear waivers and don't go somewhere else. So it could be a tricky situation. The Ravens can do it. It can happen. It's possible. But it's just very tricky. So we'll see how things go. So um, with uh, David Ajabo, excuse me, had one of those weird like yawn slash burp slash I don't know. But anyway, with David, with David Ajabo, uh, we, we hoping for the best for him, man. We hoping the best for him and hope that everything ends up working out even better uh, than what we expect. So hopefully, like David Ajabo won't be for too long when it comes to playing for the Ravens this season. I'm out.